Ho-ho! Welcome everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt here. Oh, it's another pop-up mythical beings pop. Here it is. Oh, he's a giant. Look at him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get stuff. Look at him. Oh, I'm a giant. All right, look at that. Now this whole series of pops um, that we're making together, these are inspired by some books that I did quite a while back called Encyclopedia Prehistorica. I love myths and legends and all this sort of stuff, and so I did all this research and we made these amazing books um, that all these mythical creatures came to life and, um, and mythical heroes and all kinds of characters and things. So these books, I, I loved making these. I loved making these, you know, these imagined things come to life. And I thought it would be really fun for us to make our very own uh, pop-up mythical beings. And also, like, so all of these pops are in, we're gonna build it into a cube. Look at that, it's so cool. So we're gonna all do this together. Um, this is the giant pop-up. So we have, this is a really big giant. All right, so first you're gonna download the templates and there's a link down below, so you download, and you're gonna print this all onto cardstock. You can use any color you like. Um, you're gonna print it onto cardstock. Cardstock is a little heavier than regular paper and because we need that for our pop-up to be strong. Um, we're gonna first score all the um, dotted black lines on the templates and that just means that we're going to press a paper clip with a ruler and the, along all those dotted lines. And we use the ruler kind of as a straight edge and not kind of, as a straight edge. And we use the paper clip, the edge of it, you know, we rub it along each one of these long dotted lines. And um, that makes it much easier for the pop-up to fold on those, on those dotted lines. That way we don't have to fold it cold, you know what I'm saying? Um, because it, it, that can be uh, difficult. And this way we stay on those dotted lines because we need, for our pop-up, we need it to fold in certain places. Now what's up next? You gotta use scissors, you gotta cut out all these pop-up pieces for our pop-up giant, okay? So use your scissors, you know, be very careful, cut, cut along the black solid lines, okay? And sometimes, you know, I, we might cut out like a larger piece so that we can get at all these little edges. Um, take your time too, you know, and get a pair of scissors. I always say this every time, but get a pair of scissors that you're comfortable with. It's really important. There, those, these are tools that you really, you know, you're going to be using a lot if you're making pop-ups. So, and if you're making any other crafts, so make sure you take care of your scissors and um, you get a pair that that fits your hands right. Because some people have big hands, some people have little hands. You know, whatever. So, scissors are important tools. In fact, I have some scissors on my desk that set that they're like nobody's allowed to touch only me because they're mine 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 because i don't want someone to run a, run off with them so they like say mine and they have my name on them um i'm selfish what can i say uh anywho here we go we're cutting out all these pieces and um now let's pre-fold all of the pops and you know that what that does and now we've already scored everything so it's going to be super easy for us to uh, fold everything, you know? So um, what it, what scoring the paper does is it kind of breaks the fibers, tiny, tiny fibers in the paper. Um, and um, that makes it much easier for our, our, our folds to work well and be really good pop hinges for our pop-up because that's, you know, sometimes that's what a fold is on a pop-up. It, it's kind of like a hinge for the mechanism of our pop-up. Now this pop-up uses a mechanism called a twister. I mean, a lot of people call them different things, but it, the reason why, you, you'll see in a bit, the, the, the pop-up actually will fold the character in half and it will twist a little to fit inside. So you can get, a, what's cool with the twisters, you can get something really long and tall inside a base page that isn't necessarily that tall. So it's really cool. I love using them. I use them all the time. I love them. Um, so we're going to fold all these pieces, fold this. This is the body of our, of our giant, just like that. And then, um, yeah, and then we're going to fold our base page. Everything's pre-folded so it knows which way it's supposed to go. All right, so let's get to assembling. Now, what do we use to assemble? We use just regular craft glue. You know, you can use Elmer's glue. You can use, um, you can use any color craft glue if you want. Like, if you want to use colorful, that's cool. Um, you could even, if you wanted, use a glue stick, although I don't always say use them because sometimes those glue sticks don't let you have enough glue and see when you have like a you know sort of a bottle of glue like this you can you can kind of paint the glue into place now this piece here these see these two areas of glue that we painted in that's a and b you're going to see that that's going to match the you know the piece that goes on top of it look at that make sure that that pop is lined up that the center fold of that piece 
is flat on the page and lined up exactly with the center of the base page. All right. That's what you need to make sure and make sure it goes completely flat. All right. So the center of that piece should line up with the center of that base page and see how beautiful those work. So there's the, look at those two V folds there. There's one going up and one going down. So that's, that's, they're going in opposite directions. They're exactly the same size. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to glue this piece here. This is the body piece. We're going to glue it across. And that's going to be C. And you're going to see that that, you're going to see that the letter C lines up with the edge of that piece where we're gluing. See, we put the like, glue now. You're going to look at that. See, that lines up with like sort of the shoulder of our giant. Should line up with that. See how that goes? That's pretty cool. All right, so we do that. We That's like a, that's what we call a key in spot. We do that key in spot so that you know exactly where to assemble it. We're going to, we're going to fold this piece here. That's, that's um, D and that's going to glue right there. See, it says glue D here and you actually fold it under and it should, the triangle, triangular piece, even though it's sort of a trapezoid thingy, um, or what is that? I always lose my, I always forget what those are called. I think it's a trapezoid, um, but it's not a, a symmetrical one. We're going to, anyways, we're going to fold it under and it should fit in the leg. See, just like that. So the tab is hidden. We don't want to see that tab, right? So it's going to be underneath and you're going to glue all this flat. Now this, this is E and this is where the head is. And it's actually going to glue. See it right there. We're going to put some glue right there. That's where it's going to, that triangle area. So look at that. We're just going to glue it just right there. So like I said, this is a twister and it uses two V folds. So we're putting some glue just in that triangle spot. And look, I'm just going to put it, I'm just going to line it up right there and make sure that the edge of that triangle doesn't go over that little fold line. See how it's edged up to it, but don't make sure it doesn't go over it because it won't work if it if you do that. It needs to you need to see a little bit, just like she shows. It needs to it needs to show a little bit of that that um, fold line that it lines up to. See how that goes? All right. So now we just glue a little fist on. This is the arm. Um, this is his right arm. And that just goes right there. And the reason why I think we added this extra piece on so, so that it would cover up the fold where his belly is. See, the, we want to just give it a little bit of dimensionality. Look at that. It will also strengthen up his upper body. Now, this could be a lady giant if you wanted to. Give him, you know, you can make it whatever kind of giant you want. And we left the hair optional for you. All right, let's see how this works. Look at this, watch it twist. Look at that twist, oh, it's so cool. That's a twister, that, that mechanism, look at that. And look how tall our giant gets. Three, five, four, five, I dig your pop-up, dude. It didn't really rhyme, did it? Oh, well. Anyway, so that is our pop-up giant, which is a twister, and look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love it when a pop-up like this works. Uh, and the way that this works is both of those V folds are working in different directions, but it's bridged across on opposite sides. So that's how we can make that sort of work. It's kind of wild. It's, and then let, look at that all decorated. Look at that. He's kind of shrekky. Um, but look at that giant. He's so cool. Ooh, I love it. In the background. Oh, it's gorgeous. Anyways, you can just de decorate this any way you want with markers, with crayons, with, with glitter, with sequins, I don't, I, you, you do whatever, write stories, make a cool background, I don't care, but it is awesome. I hope you've enjoyed making this pop-up giant, one of these mythical bean pops that we're gonna build into a giant pop-up cube. And I, you know, if you enjoyed making this pop, be sure to hit like and subscribe. This is Matthew Reinhardt saying, I'll see you next time. And hey, if you got ideas for future pops, be sure to let me know down in the comments below because I listen and um, got ideas for future projects, hey, with it by me. I'm always open to it. So see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.